Use the setup hard key to access the setup window. Split into four sections, the setup window is where major, console wide, options and defaults can be changed. In chapter 3, we looked at full access and live access windows, which handle adding and patching of devices. Auto create is the next step. As the name suggests, it enables you to automatically create groups, presets, effects, and a matrix for your devices. In Auto Create, you can specify the devices for which you wish to create presets and whether those presets will be merged with existing presets or whether they will be added as new presets. Preset Referencing is a tool that allows you to take existing preset information from a single fixture and embed it into a fixture's personality. The next use of this kind of fixture in conjunction with AutoCreate will use the preset information from this show as a template to generate presets. The Groups AutoCreate window offers two options for group generation, to create groups by the device type or by the layer defined in the fixture schedule. You can also choose whether to create groups for each individual device or for all, odds and evens of each type of device. Clone allows you to transform preset and queue information to other fixtures, or even fixtures of different types. If you add extra fixtures to your show, you can then use the clone feature to add them into every preset and queue that an existing fixture is already in. This allows you to dramatically expand the size of your show without having to program the new fixtures from the start. This feature is particularly useful if you have programmed with presets. Effects and matrix allow to create default effects and selections. A lot of the options in the setup window are very straightforward. Message boxes on one screen or all refers to pop-up windows such as store and whether they should appear on all of your displays or just on the right-hand touch screen on a Grand MA full size or the touch screen for the rest of the range. The normal or wide executor mode option is a bit more complicated. It refers to how a show programmed on a full-size Grand MA with 20 executor faders transfers to a console with only 10 faders. Chapter 10 gives more detailed information under laying out your console. A touch screen calibration can be done by simply selecting the display to calibrate and pressing the four crosses on the selected display. If a recalibration does not solve your problems with the touchscreen option, it can be turned off. You can also turn off external displays so that the mouse cursor does not get lost in an unavailable display. The console beep can be turned off in case of a noisy sensitive environment. The encoder soft key allows you to choose the resolution and the speed of the parameter encoders. With the fader soft key, motorized faders can be changed to manual faders or disabled completely. The setting for the wheel soft key determines what happens to dimmer values under the wheel's control when they reach 100 or 0%. With additive, reaching 100% or 0% causes the relationship between dimmer values to collapse when the direction is reversed. With incremental, the relationship is maintained. With proportional plus, the dimmer levels all reach 0% at the same time. With proportional minus, the dimmer levels all reach 100% at the same time. The light section gives access to the backlight dimming of the touchscreen displays and the illumination level of the little lights.